is Adam here from Sapphire Dasher. We are going on a dinner time dash. Uh, we're just doing door dash tonight. Uh, don't have a goal of how much money we make, but I am going to go ahead and accept every offer. Um, I am no longer going to keep alcohol orders off the table. They, if they come to my phone, I will take them. So, taking every order. Uh, we'll work from now till about 8 o'clock and then uh, see how much we make at the end. So we're going to go ahead and dash now. And we're going to start driving towards one lap and see if we get anything while we're there. I guess you could consider this uh, road to Chop Dasher Part 3 finally. So we can consider it that. Okay, so the first order I got is from McAllister's Deli for $15.75. We can go ahead and accept that. Didn't screenshot it though. I'll remember to screenshot everything else with the drop off. So let's go pick up McAllister's Deli. And I'll be back with you guys after we have the food. Alright, okay. So we got the order from McEllister's Deli picked up. So we are good to go there. And now we're on our way to the customer, which is who's 12 miles away. Would I typically take this order? No, it's too many miles. Um, but for the sake of resuming the road to Top Dasher, I kind of kind of need to take it so I can so I can make good on turn what right I promised uh, turn right in February. Turn right on the Russell Branch Parkway. So we'll go with that. So I will uh, be back with you guys. Turn right onto Ashburn Village Boulevard. Uh, after we get this order uh, drop off, talk to you soon. Alright guys, so we got that order all dropped off at these apartments. Yo, this part of Herndon has a ton of apartment complexes all bunched together. It is crazy. I'm not sure if you uh, dash and deliver here often, like uh, Nova Dasher, you, uh, you uh, get used to it pretty quick. So we are going to navigate <clears throat> back to where I live. Turn right to stay on Dulles Station Boulevard. Turn right to stay on Dulles Station Boulevard. Go that way. In 150 feet at the traffic circle. So once we're back in on uh, Boulevard. Once we're back in Ashburn, I will be back with you guys. Oh. In a, in a while, so in a while I'll be back. There we go, so we did get another order here from Rupta Celebrations. It's an Indian restaurant, uh, alcoholic order. Um, I picked it up when I was uh, traveling back to Zone uh, for $8 and, and 10 miles, because that's about how far away I was from the store. So something tells me this is probably deep down in Brambleton where it's being dropped off. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be afraid to take alcohol orders anymore. Uh, like the Virginia law said, it's like, hey, if the person you're delivering to appears intoxicated, incoherent, uh, belligerent, don't deliver. Uh, of course, they have a fake ID. So, oh, we got another one here. Uh, this is an add on from the same place. So, we'll take both. And uh, go from there. Um, so, yeah, I will be back with you guys after I have uh, the foods. Talk to you soon. Alright, guys, we. Got both orders picked up. They were both ready. And um, 
yeah, we are on our way to go get them both delivered to our respective customers. One's alcohol or just gotta check the ID, make sure he ain't drunk. And uh, we can go from there. So I am going full con driving because it is a very rainy Friday night out here, guys. So uh, let's go drop them off. Talk to you guys soon. There it goes. We got the first order dropped off. Nice and easy, like. Uh, now we are on to our second order, which is also Head three minutes away. Place, then make a U-turn. So just going to utilize the courtyard here. I'm oh, sorry, the uh, cold sack to turn around. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto State Route 645. And we will be on our way to our next customer and drop off their food. Oh, and uh, that actually came more. Uh, the tip uh, was it was ten dollars from it went from seven twenty five up to ten dollars. Right so, kudos to that customer. They know what we deal with. All right, well, I'll be back with you guys after we drop off this next order. Talk to you guys soon. All right, guys. Right that order is dropped off. That was a new customer who first time ordering alcohol through DoorDash. He was circle, like, Jesus, it's just one beer. It's like, I, it's like, I know, sir. It's just, it's legal reasons. It's the law. I have to look at your ID. I have to scan it. You got to sign for it. In feet, so we got that all Virginia delivered. North. And now we have our next order here from, well, actually, it's two drop offs. We have a Chardonnay. We're picking up some alcohol at Walgreens. And uh, we are also picking up something from the uh, Indian kitchen over there as well. So, not bad. Not bad at all. So, going to get these uh, next two things picked up and I'll be back with you guys after I have both of them picked up. All right, guys, we got both orders picked up, so we're good there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, drop off the first one and then drop off the second one. Um, had to substitute the, uh, the Walgreens wine order. Uh, it was... It was a Head little, it, yeah, they didn't, have, they didn't have what they originally ordered, so I substitute it for another Chardonnay, so hopefully turn this wine right person Michael doesn't Road, mind. Then turn right onto Naismith Terrace. Anyways, I'm uh, going to go work on getting these dropped off, and then we will uh, go from there. Oh, it wants me to take the tolls again. Oh, we are going to work our way right to the Smith first Paris. customer. And I'll be back with you guys after we drop it off. Talk to you soon. All right, guys. So, uh, both orders are dropped off. I don't know if I got back with you guys when I dropped off the... When I dropped off the last order, if not, uh, that last order, they added a tip to it. It was a $10 tip, and they added an additional $3. So I thought that was really nice of them. And yeah, um, I am uh, I'm $2.50 away from $50. You know what? I think I'll hit $50 and I'll call it a night. So all we need is just one more order, and I'll be happy with that. $50 in, I don't know, two hours? That's pretty good. 
it's fit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to this hot spot that contains a lot of various areas and um, see what we can get. I know it's the end of the month, so I know a lot of people are going for Top Dasher for next month, so pretty busy. And also there's a uh, Peak Pay out here. Let me see, what's Peak Pay? Uh, there's a $1 Peak Pay going till 7.30. So, yeah, it's not bad. Um, but anyways, yeah, gonna focus on the road and uh, drive over to the hot spot and uh, we'll be back with you guys with the next order. Talk to you soon. Okay guys, so we got another order here. It was from Red Robin. And this is probably going to be my last order tonight. Uh, going into Leesburg, I think it was $6.50 uh, for 9.4 miles. Would I typically take an order this far? No. But, you know, since we're resuming the series to Road to Top Dasher, I'm accepting it all up to 70% acceptance rating because I've noticed my market getting very, very saturated with drivers and scheduling when I'm available is hard. So I would like the ability to dash now. So that's what we're doing. Head Southeast toward Yukon Drive. So I'll be back with you guys after you drop this off. Turn left onto Ryan Center. Alrighty guys, we are done dashing for this Friday night. We made exactly $69. Take the joke as you want. And then, I hope you guys enjoy this video. You'll see some common numbers here. And we go from there. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope to see you guys again on the next video uh, as I continue as I resume my journey to Road to Top Dasher. So, talk to you guys soon, and you guys have a good night. Bye bye.